Next is seventh first drawbacks. It's my husband who makes reviews, but he doesn't speak English and moreover he can't even speak Russian now. So I am making this video on his behalf. It's about first drawbacks that you could find and it's in English. During the unboxing the touch didn't work properly, but now after a couple of updating it got much better. There are two white frames. Of course it's not objective, but they are really white without any good reason. And um, if they were narrower, thumb would reach any point on the screen. But now 7 inch size loses its zest and thumbs don't reach the center of the screen. As for battery life, it's not very optimistic. It takes less than 3 hours to discharge the battery with 3D games on and 100% screen brightness. If you watch videos with 50% brightness, it takes about 8 hours, not more. Though some reviewers and users say that they use this tablet intensively for 2 days without any charging. I think phrase intensive use has different meaning for different people. The tablet heated more than 40 degrees Celsius. And this is the video where my son is trying to cool it and is complaining that it is too hot. А что ты на него дуешь? Потому что он горячий. Горячий? Правда? А где он самый горячий? Вот тут. 42 градуса примерно весь планшет. The screen is very good, but when there is a dark picture in the screen, it reflects like a mirror in some conditions. And moreover, there is after image on our tablet. Unfortunately, the software of the tablet is not very stable. Within some days of the test, the launcher loaded several times because of the error. Sometimes slight lags happen and applications don't answer. Of course, people can say that these are trivial issues and I'm copying. But if you watch other reviews of this tablet on YouTube, it seems that this tablet is ideal. But it's not true, unfortunately. If you watch the Russian version of this review, you'll find more first impressions and drawbacks.